Chufut Kale is an astonishing ancient city, argued by mainstream historians as dating back only to medieval times. However, this we suspect is possibly due to it being documented during this time as having served as a fortress within the Crimean Mountains, a national monument of Crimean Karatis culture. Although argued to be fairly recent archaeology, we believe, however, that upon closer inspection, a far more intriguing, far older story for its origins begins to appear. Identifiable advanced features so often discussed here on our channel, found throughout the ancient world, remnants indicative of a far older, far greater, technologically advanced group having once been responsible. A group who had access to knowledge and stone-cutting technology that has not only left the same signature scars all over the planet, an investigative undertaking we have previously explored regarding similarities and differentiations to identify signature methods, an ongoing investigation in an attempt to identify separate, lost, highly advanced civilizations, and most importantly, how many there were. The site was clearly built by a group who were also capable of quarrying and placing enormous stones, sometimes over 1,000 tons in weight, atop one another. Many people are aware of the remarkable underground city known as Derinkuyu, a settlement we have covered in the past. A gigantic ruin carved straight down 80 meters into the bedrock, rumored to have been lit using a pipe system which tees natural gases out of the strata, lighting a candle-sized flame at regular intervals throughout its entire structure. We know of this amazing ruin due to its incredible rediscovery. When a local purchased a property in the area, he set about doing some renovations. However, upon knocking down a wall in the house, he was confronted with the entrance to an amazing site. This in turn attracted the media, thus Derinkuyu's public popularity, regardless of its controversial nature, was cast in stone with rather difficult to explain origins. However, Chufut Kale, although itself a partially underground, partially above ground, yet no less incredible ancient city, also carved with incredible precision from the bedrock of Earth. The site was discovered and studied in depth initially by mainstream-funded individuals. As such, predictably, it has subsequently been little shared publicly. This, regardless of its incredible nature, its prehistoric appearance, and the fact that it even appears to be older than its more famous counterpart, Derinkuyu. The site is largely ignored, and this is undoubtedly due to the institutionalized powers that be, who constantly monitor and thus control the financial incentives. Anyone requesting exploratory funding, whether within such fields as education, archaeology, or history, will simply be refused any application for a funded expedition. This reluctance to approve any in-depth public exploration of the site has long kept the lid on these ruins and we feel for good reason. For although Chufut Kale was once masterfully carved from solid stone, created to house many hundreds of families and individuals, the erosion present on the site is also staggering. Many of the once refined chambers are slowly losing their form and returning to nature, with some caverns seemingly identical in appearance to many sites academia would simply dismiss as natural formations. Yet regardless of this dismissal and the deliberate overlooking of its grandeur by certain fields of study, we find Chufut Kale highly compelling.